Are you struggling? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! You got it. Because this is this is adventurous. Damn it, Natalie! <laughs> <laughs> Your freaking fault! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Woo! I made it. It really wasn't that far. What? It wasn't that far. I know, but I'm not exactly the most graceful of. I am here. If you need my hand. <laughs> She's like, I don't need your hand. <laughs>
we're going to the edge. The edge. The edge. Wow. <laughs> Is it? Mom, where are we? The fanciest Taco Bell in the world. The fanciest Taco Bell in the world. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> there were too many people in there. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't comfortable. No. <laughs> and Nelly would say, it's not the move. Not the move. Not the move. Not the move. show you guys everything that we got um we did go <laughs> and do quite a bit of stores so i'm gonna just start with the yarn from the first store the first store that we went to was called the royal bee yarn company it was amazing it was awesome apparently they're new and they've only been around for about four years but it was so beautiful inside. The worker there, who is the owner actually, she has her own company, which I didn't know until after I purchased the yarn that I purchased. But if I would have known that, I would have bought some of her yarn, her own company's yarn. I didn't know. But anyway, it was really fun going there. So I got two yarns. Sorry if you guys can't hear me very well. I'm trying not to be too loud. <laughs> um, so I got two yarns from there for my um my cousin so melissa if you're watching don't <laughs> this is for christmas for her so here are the yarns i'll show you one while i talk about it <clears throat> so the yarn is called rios it's worsted it's 210 yards 100 grams and it's 100 percent superwash merino and i believe the color is Camel, yeah, isn't that beautiful? And it is so soft, it's so, 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 so soft, but it is beautiful. Um, but yeah, so here is the company name, and there's Camel. And if I can find this on um, a website, I will link it down below, but I'm not sure. I have to look it up. So if I can find it, I will link it. Everything will be linked, um, like yarn-wise, down below. Not all these random products, because I don't, I don't know. But yeah. So first, I got two of those for my cousin, and then I got some beautiful yarn for myself. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. It's from the Woolfolk Yarn. Dot com. It is 55% Ovis 21 Ultimate Merino and 45% Pima Cotton. And then the 1% of the wool goes back to Ovis 21. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to just turn this around real quick and show you because it's not giving it uh, justice. Here it is. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. So yeah, it is the Wool Folk brand, and I did find this on the website already because I looked it up <laughs> just to make sure I could get more if I needed it, um, 
and so I will link that down below for you guys. This is the color number L12. It's 109 yards, 50 grams, and it's the Luft line, and I already told you what it is made out of but oh my gosh and it's so soft I want to make either my mom wants um, fingerless gloves so I would like to make that but I originally wanted to make a hat so I'm probably gonna do gloves with this and I don't know a hat on something else <laughs> so yeah that's what I got from the Royal Yarn the Yarn Company <laughs> Actually, I forgot. I got one more thing from there, which I'm actually, I can't believe I forgot because I'm so excited about it. It is a punch needle kit. I've never punched needle before. I don't know if that's even what you're supposed to say. But there it is. And all the yarns come inside. I'm so excited. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated about that, and if it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm going to be trying this out tonight. I think. <laughs> Alright, so from the other store, I went to this little antique store. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I got an old, oops. <laughs> I got an old postcard. So beautiful. And it actually has writing on the back. I haven't tried to in interpret it yet. It's uh, cursive and I'm not too good at reading cursive, but we have just arrived. I don't know. If you guys know what it says, I'm gonna ask my mom, she'll probably know. Um, and then I got this and it says, I don't know, it says something like, I, I see some of these fellers every day, which is really funny. <laughs> um, and then I just got an old picture, two old pictures. This says, I don't know, it falls somewhere. 47, wow, that's awesome. And then this is Stan, September 1948, with his dog. Maybe the dog's name is Stan, who knows. <laughs> and then I actually got a few gifts for a YouTube person that I watch all the time. Um, I want to figure out her P.O. box and send it to her. You guys will probably know who I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna say. But um, you'll, you'll figure it out probably just by this. Um, she loves national parks. <laughs> so I found some postcards and she also loves postcards. So I found some postcards that are national parks and I'd like to send them to her. And then I also got a Pacifica sticker because all these yarn stores are, well, that, that one that I just showed you, this store was in Pacifica, but this yarn bee was in, yeah, that was also in Pacifica. And then the next one that I'm about to show you was in, um, Half Moon Bay. So yeah, let me show you that. All right guys, and then the next yarn shop that we went to was called Fingari, and it's called Fingari Fiber Arts, Half Moon Bay. And I got two yarns for myself from there. It was beautiful, so I'm gonna show you guys that right now. As you saw, there was so many beautiful yarns. It was insane. <laughs> So, I did pick out two. The first one that I picked out was this, I don't even want to try to pronounce all this, but again, I will try to link it in the description box. Hand painted cotton, Veil Pisco, color number 12, and it's just 100% cotton. But isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited about it. Awesome, all right. And then the next one that I got, which is the last yarn that I got, um, is this Ella Ray Cozy Alpaca Chunky Yarn. 
And I'm going to turn the camera around for both of these yarns because this lighting is not doing it justice. But it is beautiful. It's so, so soft. So I decided I'm going to make one of those um, ear warmers with this. That is the plan because there's 200 and something yards because it's 70% acrylic, 30% alpaca. I'm trying to find how many yards. It doesn't say, oh, baby alpaca. I'm surprised it doesn't say the yardage. Oh. 120 yards. All right, I'm gonna flip it around and show you guys these two yards. It's so pretty. I just randomly at the end decided to pick this one up. I was like, eh, it's $13, I believe. Oh, well, I guess I took the price off, but I believe it was $13. And I was like, eh, I'm just gonna go for it. And then I forgot to tell you the brand, but here's the brand. And then this is the yarn. As you can see, it was not doing it justice. Oh, there's a little schmucky. I'll get that off later, but beautiful. All right, and then the last few things that we got was this goat ornament. Oh my gosh. And there is the brand. And I got a little frog. I think he's technically an incense holder, but I don't use incense because my frogs cannot have any smoke in the room. And then we got this giraffe ornament. I love giraffes, in case you guys did not know. And then I got an anklet, a beaded anklet. Um, and then from a different store, I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. So from that same store, actually, we got two mugs. Um, I will show you them right now. And then from the last store, I got this little Half Moon Bay um, pin. And then we got these really cool they were six dollars and they're paper towels but they're not they are called sponges but they can replace like paper towels and you can throw them in the dishwasher to wash and you can wash them in the washing machine and i thought they were really cute because my mom's gonna have the chicken and i'm gonna have the dog and my mom likes chickens <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you really enjoyed this video um, I would film tomorrow, but we're pretty much just going to go to breakfast and head on home. So I decided to end the video here, but I hope that you guys enjoyed and let me know if you want me to do more little like vlog, um, like yarn shopping haul videos because if I go on a trip, I'd like to film it and we went, so I filmed it and I'm going to see what you guys think. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'm going to go, but... <laughs> Bye guys.